The Moon Jae-in administration is taking some solid steps to undo the damages the previous administration has done in terms of Japan's wartime sex slavery issue. A task force to assess the flawed 2015 deal with Japan is launched. Connie Kim shares with us what the team touched on during their maiden meeting. Will the launching of the task force be the first step in finally resolving the controversial issue on the victims of Japan's wartime sexual slavery? The foreign ministry is acknowledging that the majority of the Korean public do not accept the 2015 agreement reached by Seoul and Tokyo on the so-called comfort women issue by launching a task force team under the direct control of the foreign minister. The group consisting of nine members, including professors and ministry officials, will thoroughly review every part of the agreement. The task force will be assessing the process leading up the signing of the agreement and evaluating the facts. The team will mostly be reviewing the documents on the agreement. It will also listen to voices of the victims from a victim-oriented approach. Monday was a member's first meeting in which they reportedly exchanged ideas and discussed how the team will be operated. The team will be meeting twice a month with the aim of reaching a conclusion on their assessment by the end of the year. The 2015 deal seemed to put an end to the decades-long comfort women row, with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe acknowledging Japan's atrocities and Tokyo agreeing to provide 1 billion yen, or roughly 9 million U.S. dollars, to a foundation supporting the victims. But it sparked sharp criticism from the Korean public because it lacked a formal apology to the victims from Abe. A review of the agreement was hinted by President Moon Jae-in, who pledged in his campaign to renegotiate the agreement. Foreign Minister Kang kyung hwa had also questioned whether the pact had to use terms such as finally and irreversibly in stating that the issue was solved. The issue of the comfort women remains unresolved for the surviving victims even after Seoul and Tokyo reached the agreement back in 2015. With only 37 victims alive, there is growing hope that the team's review will be done thoroughly and clearly to pave the way for a final resolution. Connie Kim, Arirang News.